health and first mm -hmm. alert meteorologist Catherine Noel wearing purple today. <laughs> and it's for a good reason. Today is March 14th, which is Dress for STEM. It is. Uh, that is a little grassroots campaign, Catherine, yeah. that started with a Facebook uh, group, this particular dress. Yeah. So nine years ago, mm -hmm. a bunch of us meteorologists got together mm -hmm. and started Dress for STEM. It kind of went, yeah, viral too, that dress did. A mm -hmm. lot of people started getting right. it. Yeah, and today is a good day to choose that purple if you're wondering, hmm, I don't know, what should I wear? Go for that color in your closet. It's a day to inspire more young women to choose this path, the STEM path that we've been talking about, science, technology, engineering, and math. So like you mentioned, all a movement that started by a group of female meteorologists and hope to inspire girls to pursue their passions in STEM careers. So we have some facts to tell you about too. A little alarming here. There's a large difference between men and women in STEM careers. For instance, women make up nearly half of the workforce, but only 27% of STEM careers, most of them being health related. Numbers are significantly lower when you look at engineering and computer science, but today, you know, maybe we can make a difference here and influence some young girls to follow their passions in STEM. One way to do this is encourage young girls to connect with another person in the community, another woman within their interests, a role model, you know, get them involved early, get them excited. Maybe they can go out and shadow that woman too. Encouragement is huge too, which is also goes hand in hand with a growth mindset when it comes to STEM careers and getting people more involved, women involved. So we did ask you to give a shout out to a woman in STEM that you know on our Facebook page and we got a few entries. So we're going to read some of those. Erin on Facebook says that Courtney Sheriff is blazing the way for girls in STEM. We'd love to hear that. She's a STEM teacher at James M. Brown and she's changing the world for these girls and boys. She goes above and beyond for our students every single day. And Amanda says Phyllis Chandler is the best math teacher ever. I'm sure she is. We'll be reading more shout outs throughout the morning. So message us if you want to give a woman in STEM, you know, a shout out. If you want to get involved, put on that purple snap a photo, share it on social media with the hashtag dress for STEM. Guys. All right, ladies. Thank you so much.